And now live on videotape delay from Studio 69 in the wild, wild western South Carolina, it's time for the Jimmy Washington Cavalcade of Stars. And here's your host, accompanied by his personal fluffer, Natasha P. Drop the microphone. And when it, it was broken, we took a little intermission here, and I'm thinking, thank God we don't have to see the Jimmy Washington Cavalcade of Stars, you know? Thinking, thank God we don't have to see this moron out here. But you know what? Jimmy Washington was actually threatening a lawsuit with the company if they did not fix the microphone. This is my favorite part of the show. So nice He's ringside with the bar. Such high tech equipment on hand in case of an emergency. Yeah, it's coming from a snappy dresser like him. I don't get you some heat. Natasha. I'm here, I don't even know who the guest is. The paper just says the Jimmy Washington show. But I come out here, hell, this is like an hour's worth of material just laughing at this thing right here. And speaking of material, Johnny Cashmere is about to put an end to this party. And another slap to the face. First of all, I come all the way here to Delaware. Nick Burke and Johnny Cash, we aren't booked. Myself to him. So you got to do beat the bar again? Z-bar? Look at him looking at Z-bar. I wouldn't even when I'm not in the mood. You got a key? I think he might get in the mood real quick. I'd hit him if I was over there. So I... past few months. I've been killing myself here at CZW. And for what? For what? Nobody appreciates it. This wasn't on my. I don't it wasn't on my format sheet, man. I don't appreciate it either. This wasn't on my format sheet. He wasn't supposed to talk about this. This isn't on my format sheet. It's not on my format sheet either. I walked out of the locker room. I tucked my tail between my legs and I walked out. He said, "Quit." I'm looking at everyone you straight in the face. Are you kidding me? He just quit the company? That's the second time he has quit this company in an eight-month span. Three times. You're telling me there's a third time? I don't even know about that one. That one was covered up. Well, this is the third time, time Gargulo. I hope he doesn't do this. I really like Johnny. Johnny Cashmere, you know, we're going to shoot here for a minute. Johnny's a friend of mine. Johnny got me this job here when he had the book. I like Johnny a lot. I've been friends with this kid for a while. I root for him all the time. I try and put him over in the booking meetings, whatever I can. He can't quit. He just can't. It's not right. Did he really quit? He did quit, man. And it's Christmas time for Justice Payne. Did you see there were light bulbs? Guitar. Oh, 
think Double J ever got that extreme with his guitars. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. I think it sucks, and it's a shame. I'm really sorry, but White Peter is not here tonight. I knew it, Hitman. Hey, man, this whole show is falling apart. First, the microphone breaks and cashmere quits. No white beater. What's next? Did they forget the barbed wire? For you who were at Chance last week, you seen him through two tables with the slash, and his right shoulder got broken. I swear to you on that. He said, please, I will be there. I'll try to come. I will. I will. I don't care if broken shoulder or not. The crowd is completely silent. This morning, he Except for you. Out. He can barely get out of bed. I was at his house earlier. I swear to God, this is total truth. I'm not fucking with you people. This ain't some little stupid little make believe little fucking storyline. Okay? This whole show is just falling apart, hit man. I don't even think I want to work here anymore. And for you people to do it, you know, I think that really sucks. I mean, he's giving all the rest of this company. You're damn right. That man is a human phenom here. Remember I mean, last time so here? Anything, but I'm glad he's not here because for him to work with a broken shoulder is just crazy. And for what he goes through every night, every night for you people is awesome. However, you still are going to see a match here tonight with weapons, with anything else I can get my hands on. Is it going to be him as a bar? I need a partner. I do not need a partner against Nick Mondo Kasai. As long as Kasai goes back crippled and Mondo never shows his stupid ass ugly face in this company, I'll be happy. I don't care what I have to go through tonight in front of you people, as long as that happens. Now, back to Cash here. Bring your ass back out here because you're not walking out on the company again. You're not playing. You do know. You don't know I appreciate it. People in the back appreciate you. So I do. Do you appreciate him? Come no on. comment. Oh, come on. You're a real moron sometimes. You know that? I'm loyal to the boss cars, Joel. It's that simple. Yeah, you think he's loyal to you? What's he walking out with Max Smack? Is that Justin Case behind him? Yeah. Just put some kind of a sign on the Hitman. He's the boss tonight, my friend. You got something to prove to yourself. Don't do it, okay? Prove to these people you're a better man than me. So we're going to make you prove that to these people right here, right now. And look at Justice Payne putting his ego aside. Justice Payne and Johnny have had their moments in the back. That's what I'm saying. I can't fill in White Peter's shoes, Justice, you know that. But with God as my witness, if you people are What are they doing to this boy? If not, I believe in myself. I'm going to give you a one-hole shot. Tonight. I believe in you. I believe in you, kid. Go get him, kid. No fancy dancing, no shiny outfits tonight. This kid's all business. And look at these two. Justice Payne putting his ego aside. They are inviting Johnny Cashmere into the well of the hate club for one night only. It's Sparta. It's all over for you now, Cashmere. And Sick Nick Mondo has arrived as well. And from Minnesota, thrown in by the boss. And we are being joined right now by Justin Case and Max Smack of the hate club. Justin Case, is this part of your plan? Bet it is. Cashmere is part of the plan. Is he an official member of the hate club, Johnny Cashmere? For the night. For the night. For now. If you ask me, Johnny Cashmere should have walked out of here when he had the chance. Listen, it's no secret that Justice Payne and Johnny Cashmere had their run into the locker room in the past couple of months. How can they put their egos aside tonight to win this match to survive? You know what? When it comes to Zandy, when it comes to the little boys that follow him, and I do mean boys, sometimes 
Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Plain and simple. I know. What, what, what did you do to Zabar out there? That was pretty funny, actually. Well, you know, Zabar likes to look pretty, plain and simple, and that's what we did. We gussied him up like he does in his basement at home. That's all. A little bit of lipstick. It's all right. I saw that video you guys are selling. That's pretty funny stuff. <laughs> that's black market, baby. That's like snuff films. You think he'll be selling that on eBay? You never know. Starting bid $9.99. And this is what's on Barr's face right here. That's lipstick you were holding in your hand. Lipstick. You're like coloring them like a color. You like that, didn't you? I think it's pretty funny. I'd like to see you guys go out there and mess more with them if it was up to me. Why don't you hit them over the head with that guitar with the light bulbs or something? I uh, wouldn't. We got to cry for two hours. What are you kidding? Why don't you do something with this guy right next to me? Oh, man, he's an okay guy with his, his flashy shirts. He likes to look pretty, too. It looks like he stole Casimir's shirt. <laughs> well, it all comes to an end tonight. Either a bad dinner or sign a good day for very bad things. I guess maybe, maybe we'll see at the end of this match. We'll see how Johnny comes out of this. Pain means nothing but business tonight. Look at it. What is this? Look at this. What is, what's in the ring? Why don't you tell us what we got in this ring here? What is this? It's a fan supply, the weapons match. Nobody knew what was going to be supplied tonight until they got to the building. A your size bottle of beer right there, I tell you that. See that pane, the window pane right there? The pane of glass? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. You know what? I can use that fan. I hope nobody uses that. The smack shack is heating up, baby. I'm well, telling you. Of course, the, the barbed wire bat. And a lot of history with these guys in here. You have Nick Mono and Johnny Casimir who have traded the tag team championship on several occasions. Of course, Johnny with Trent, Nick with Rick Blade, of course, Justice Payne and the White Feeder defeated sick Nick Mono and his partner Rick Blade for that tag team title, tag team titles as well. Yeah, but you know, what you got thrown in right now is a crazy monkey. And nobody really knows what happens when you take a foreign animal from another country. You know what I mean? It can affect the whole habitat. So, to be honest, we got to keep our eyes on the monkey. He is a veteran, of course, of the Banana Death Barbed Wire matches. And he is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Justice Panda there, duking it out in center ring. Is this part of your plan, just in case? Yes, it is. And you know what the wife Peter's doing right now? Don't worry about it. It's none of your business, Gargiulo, what he's doing. Stop kissing up. And Justice Payne with the Caprata all over the crazy monkey. And he just split him open. It's signs of Dover. To America. There you go. He welcomed him to America, of course. And Dover, look at that DDT attempt there. And they had the final word in Dover. What are the future plans of the hate club? Are they going to try and attempt to regain the tag team championship, of course, cost at the hands of the big deal? You know what, real quick, you're talking too fast, but uh, the monkey is like, uh, he's kind of cute, dude. He's like a real ugly dog, you know what I mean? Kind of like Safar. <laughs> you know, he's like a, like Gizmo, that uh, gremlin animal. It was really ugly, but yet it was, you know, kind of cute. Uh, kind of furry. Yeah, he's missing all those choppers in the front, dude. What's going on? Looks like a hockey player. It looks just like Yamakawa. You ask me, I can't tell the difference between the two of them. Is this a plan you guys have for Kashmir? Get him killed? No, Kashmir will be all right. Great plan. Right. It's all part of the plan. And of course, Justice Payne into the STF. Look at the Enziguri attempt there. And look at Nick Mondo. We haven't seen Nick Mondo in months in this company. Johnny Kashmir quick to come in. Nick Mondo with a kick. Nick Mondo with a forearm. Nick Mondo, he can get aerial or he will sacrifice his body for the good of himself and his opponents. Johnny Kashmir with the Bulldog Justice Payne on the outside right now. And Hay Club, are you nervous when you're leaving it into the hands of Johnny Kashmir, a man that is not a normal part of your game plan? No, we're not, because we all figured this out before we came here. It's all part of the plan. You would have to think that you find a common similarity in your hatred with the big deal to with Zandig and with Zandig out of town with Zimbar taped around ringside. Advantage Hay Club tonight. Hitman, you got something out. Justice Payne and, and, and Johnny Kashmir working, working great as a tag team. But how long is it going to last, Gargiulo? Of course, it was that Iron Man Championship match with Lobo and Johnny Kashmir since that time. Kashmir has gotten extremely hardcore here at Combat Zone. And they are squaring off right now. And nobody really has the advantage at this point. And who's on the microphone? And Kashmir on the hate club. All over the big deals. Picking up where they left off. And Foggy's Fire Grill. And Kashmir is having a blast. And Aussie Bar 
can do with Watts from ringside. Just as Payne throwing sick Nick Mondo over the top rope. And the real... We might be making a monster right here. You know what, Cashmere's getting a little bit excited. We might be making another monster if it comes right down to it. They're creating a monster right now. He could be in contention to challenge for the Iron Man Championship after this one is over. Look at Mondo. What did he have, a sledgehammer? And of course, the fans supply the weapons. Anything is legal at this point. And Johnny Cashmere right now in control along with Justice Payne, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Nick but Johnny Mondo Cashmere has never seen anything like this before in his career. Johnny Cashmere has not been involved in these type of matches. How long did Johnny go? Does he have the heart? Justice Payne just threw Nick Mondo across five rows of chairs. And Johnny Cashmere with a baseball slide. The real test is going to be when Johnny takes the bulbs or the bar wire is busted open. I can't believe it, Gargiulo! The real test will be when Johnny gets thrown into those light bulbs to see what he has, just as Payne is used to it. The crazy monkey, I think he sleeps in broken glass. Of course, sick Nick Mondo who's experienced it all. Cashmere, I think, lost and he's losing his mind. They're coming this way. I think Justice Payne's coming over to say hello to you, Matt. Yeah, well, he may be. Maybe he'll stop by for the monkey here at little table. Uh -oh. You never can tell. I hope so, because I can't stand the big deals. Oh, oh Justice suplex. Payne with a snap suplex. He almost snapped the life out of Kasai. And the crazy monkey does not look too crazy right now. Cashmere staying right on top of Nick Mondo. crying over there as his big deals get beat up. Z-Bar. He looks like, he looks like Freddy from Scooby-Doo with his neckerchief on. Look at the shrink shot. Justice Payne in big trouble now. Justice Payne right now coming this way. His body scarred up. He's signaling to take our stuff off the table. We're going to clear the table. And Kasai is over here. Hey, this is a Spanish announce table. And Justice Payne full of blood. Kasai full of blood. Kasai with a boot. That's what I call a big boot. And Kasai with the right this hand. This all over the place. I can't keep up with it. Look at Cashby and raking Mondo's head across the broken glass. I think Justice Payne just took Kasai over to the merchandise table. I wonder if he's going to buy him a hate club shirt. <laughs> you're, a, you're a witty guy. We got to get somebody over here with Windex. We got monkey blood on the table. Isn't that how the Ebola started? That, that, that is correct. That is monkey blood. Johnny Payne of glass. The pain of glass was just used. And the weapons and unlimited supply with the capacity crowd here tonight. It's Florida Delaware. The last time out here, the eight club produced Tommy Dreamer. They don't need Tommy Dreamer tonight. They are in control of the big deal. Justice Payne is busting everything he gets in his hand over the head of Kasai. Look at Mondo. Mondo snapped. And Sick Nick Mondo looks like he's in the zone. Sick Nick Mondo all over Johnny Cashmere. And again, there's nothing fancy about this matchup today. It's a far cry from the latter match that Sewell between the backseat boys and Sick Nick and Rick Blade. And Sick Nick all over Johnny. Looks like an exhaust system. Exhaust off my truck. We got we to get security to grab that. I can the bar to grab it away from him. He's doing nothing. I just went through inspection. I can't drive around without that. Are you paying? Two can side taking it to Justice Payne on the outside. He's not going to pay myself the sticker. Looks like it's Justice Payne's turn to feel the wrath of a table. And of course, our vantage point very distorted right now. Johnny Casper, I see him on his feet. One thing is for sure, there is blood, there is violence, and there is broken glass here again tonight at Station 44. I think Casper's completely lost his mind. Somebody call the fire department. I'm the fire department. And of course, right now, no team with a real distinct advantage. Hey, man, what is that in the ring of Pink Bunny Rabbit? Is that for Easter? No, that's a bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he means, he means the real Pink Rabbit. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Look at Justice Payne well on the way on Z-Bar. He deserves it. And look at that, a hole in one for Sick Nick Mondo with the golf club. Thinks he's Tiger Woods out there. Justice Payne picking up where he left off. Johnny Kazmir getting back into the ring right now. Hard time. You see, that's what Hard Top should be doing. Rob he should Hard be doing Top. the 
janitorial work. Bob Hartog, incredible referee. Hey, man, he is a senior official here. Of course, looking out for the well, well-being of the wrestlers. Sick Nick Mono, his back completely busted open. Nick Mono, the agility, and a big elbow off the top. And they're coming back. Looks like we got some more monkey blood coming our way. Look at Nick Mono with the roundhouse from Kashmir. And he just hit him with a bunny rabbit. Lord, how did he pick the bar up? That kid ain't money. He doesn't go up. And sick Nick Mono looks like he's in some kind of a trance. Look at him, the sky. And a suplex from hell by sick Nick Mondo. And Justice Payne and Drew just took his side. Justice was killing each other. Here we go. He's going now. And the crazy monkey all over the former heavyweight champion of the world. They're coming back our way here. And the line network former. And the back a bloody mess of Drew Kasai. Sick Nick Mondo in the ring with Johnny Cashmere. Great right hand. His back a bloody mess as well. It's all over for Cashmere now. It all comes to an end. He's about to play some music in there and light up this house with the folds of the guitar. Cashmere quick to his feet. And so much for the agility of Cashmere. You should have quit the company when you had the chance. The plan's working fine. That's your Johnny plan? should have quit. Cashmere should have kept on going. Sick Nick with a barbed wire bat, and God only knows what would have happened if the white beater was here tonight. We wouldn't be standing here anymore. It would have been over already. Peter's taking care of things. What do you mean he's taking care of things? He's got a hurt shoulder. He's taking care of things. And Justice Payne in there with a quick kick sends Nick Mondo outside of the ring. Rob Hartog had a word with somebody. And look at Justice Payne just driving the back. Where's Cashmere? Where's Cashmere? Hey, man, you're not doing nothing. I right. can't even see him. He never does anything. You guys got pulled out here. Give me a new partner. Did you like Ghetto Mac? <laughs> I like him, man, just where he is. Just keep away from the internet, that's all. And Drew Kasai going for a quick clothesline. Justice Payne looked like he was going for a German suplex attempt. Big belly to belly, and the former champ is in control. They know about the crotch shot over there in Japan. He threw up his leg and hit him in the ding ding. The ding ding? The ding ding, the pickle, the banana, the sausage. Whatever you want to call it, he kicked him in it. Obviously, somebody has been doing their scouting prior to this matchup. It was just seven days ago in which the big deal laid out the hate club, but tonight it looks like retribution is being had. And Drew Kasai, the great one, the back of his super zone. Justice Payne is out. All he has to do is make the cover, and it's over. Drew it's Kasai over. nails the implant DDT. Sick Nick Mondo all over Johnny Cashmere. Big super oh. kick by Justice Payne. Out of desperation. And Drew Kasai can barely stand up. A veteran of Big Japan Pro Wrestling. Big backdrop. Justice Payne lands on his feet. Sick Nick into the ring right now. And a sunset flip from hell from Sick Nick. You have to be kidding me. Sunset flip out of nowhere. Somebody should have got a running count on what's getting broken tonight. Count the people. The bar's not doing anything. Give him a pen and a piece of paper and a calculator. Look at that long hair freak up in the front row. He's spooking me out, man. My goodness, that Ted Nugent. You see him here, man? I think he's going through their pockets when they're down. Look, Johnny Cashman is setting up a table on the outside. Justice Payne in the ring with a fluorescent light tube, and he nails him. A swing.
Bring it a home run. Long drive by Justice P. Back in the ring. Back in the ring. Not only is Johnny back in the ring, he's looking at Justice like they're setting him up for some kind of a strategic move that they went over earlier tonight. Looks like they're going to set him up for a double power bomb at the Razor's Edge. All I know is he's going somewhere. Whoopsie oh, daisy! Drew Kasai to set up Sick Nick Mondo sneaking into the ring all over Kashmir and Justice P. I don't think the crazy monkey's gonna make it back to Japan. And Sick Nick Mondo maybe going for that guillotine leg drop that he is so famous for here in CZW. And Drew Kasai maybe going home in a body bag before this one is over. We'll send him home in a Wawa bag. That's all he's gonna get. Might as well have some for one of those. And it looks like an ironing board. What the hell's Mondo doing? Mark doesn't freaking Wawa's. He only goes to places that have the cheap porn mags. The three packs for like five bucks. I know that for a fact. He, he told me he likes the place where they have those little holes in the, in the wall. He's setting up four bars to go. You know what? He comes by the smack check. Springboard DNT leg like drop on the Justice Pain. And that's what Nick Mondo likes to call a Mondo Sledge. And Johnny Cashmere's white shirt is almost a dark shade of red. Let me tell you what, that shirt right there is the evolving of Johnny Cashmere. Since he's come back, he's changed his style, and that shirt is almost reminiscent of him going through every Cradle breaker by Cashmere! And Johnny Cashmere bringing Big Japan to sick Nick Mondo as he nailed with a cradle breaker. A movie told me he learned on tour in Big Japan. Johnny looking for something, looks a little confused. He's a little disheveled. I don't think he's ever been in any kind of a match like this. Johnny right now going on pure adrenaline. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at the shape Johnny Cashmere's in. Look at that. Tremendous shape like his partner, Justice Powell. Oh! Did he hit? Did he hit? I can't see. He hit it. And it looks like your plan was foiled by Trent Acid, and son of a bitch! Swan pine off a truck, and yet he still reappears to foil things for the hate club. Look at Jude, look at the back of Jude Kasai. He's a bloody mess. And where would you ever think that you would see Trent Acid coming to the aid of Sick Nick Mondo? The big deals win the battle and the war guard too long. And Hitman, this one is not over. Looks like they were about to sacrifice Johnny Cashman right there for Easter. And a wind up by Justice Payne. Trent Asa looks confused. Look at him hightailing it out of there. He already had his match. He should get up. Let me ask you a question, Look Hitman. The blood on the back of the crazy. Man. I think Johnny Cashman proved himself tonight. I think Johnny Cashman's lost his mind. And Drew Kasai covered in a bright shade of red, which we like to call blood here in the States. Hey man, I see smoke. Look at smoke, there's gotta be fire. They are gonna light the tail on fire of Drew Kasai. Are you kidding me? And all Z Bar can do at ringside is watch. Are you kidding me? We got a monkey on fire! We got a monkey on fire! Hey man, we got a monkey on fire! I can't believe it! Isn't it his tail on fire? Max Smack in all for congratulations. And the white beater is not needed here tonight. 
The battle is over, but the war will rage on between the Big Deals and the Hate Club. The winners are the Big Deals. Come on, Eric. You got to give it to them. Do they look like winners? Then they look like winners. Do those guys look like losers? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I quit. You promise?
I'll just take it. No, it's funny. Me gave a bunch of old kids. You got little I think it's nice of it. Look at the slow side. They don't cut real well. Uh, yeah, oh, you thought I was just going to walk out there with that? Yeah, yeah I didn't know. Japan, number one. Antiseptic. Itchy oh, bond, okay? Yeah. Itchy bond. Sorry. <laughs> ow. Good side. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. Understandably, ow. Sorry. Uh, looking in and out, he's real sensitive to needles, too. When he's 30. Huh? When he's 30 on him. I mean, even the slightest poke would be sensitive to him, believe it or not. <laughs> he wouldn't think so, but he is. We're all on the adrenaline screen, so. <laughs> Mmm, yummy. <laughs> 